Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Geeky Pub Show today for what? For what? For X Men 97. And joining me, as always, of course, is uh, Froggy. Yes, yes, yes. But you remember, you have to do the voice previously on X Men. Previously on my intellectual property. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get to that. Okay, okay. Yes, we are back for Life Death Part 2. Yes, yes. The yes, part yes. Two, episode, like, two episodes. And we brought a slideshow because it wouldn't be my family without having slideshows of my family. <laughs> that being said... How do you take pictures? There's th you don't have hands. All right, people do that for me. You're saying your family has fingers and you don't... <laughs> I'm adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start this slideshow to get yeah. back into the episode. Yeah, yes. So yeah. it starts off with the Kree scroll war going on in space, but there's also most people forget the Shi'ar Empire exists. Yes, the Shi'ar oh. Empire is backed, and they uh, basically. They're going after Ronan the Accuser. They bust into his ship and like, yo, what's up, bro? We got Gladiator. And then we got maybe a few other people that people might recognize. But I'm not the hugest X-Men nerd, so I don't really know a lot of these guys. Um, I, I'm more into my hero academia with the giant lady versus the giant dude. Are, are you sure? <laughs> I, I don't. I think this would be less X-Men, more overall Marvel Universe, because Gladiator is there, and he's not a part of the X-Men. He no, he's part there. of the X-Men Universe, though. Um, he well, appeared in the X-Men, all the X-Men comic books in the 80s. Yes, yes. All right, with that, we go over with Missy. Ronan is, conf is basically by, by Deathbird, she, uh, Empress Leandra's uh, younger sister, who covets the throne, wants the throne for herself. Uh, basically wants Ronan to kneel, and he says, I kneel before no one, but he's kneeling. Yep. Yep, yep. He ends up kneeling anyway. Yes, and just when he thinks he's gonna be able to do something, we get the first cartoon of, uh, animated, or actually animated the debut of Vulcan, the third, uh, Summers Brothers, the youngest one. Where's the Winter Soldier? Who was raised by the Shi'ar Empire? So, but all he gets is a small cameo. Doesn't talk. Kind of bummer. But then again, this bummer, is not, in, in this in this cartoon. I don't think he knows that he has two brothers. We haven't even seen Havoc anywhere. We've only ever seen uh, Scott so far. So, all right. But then they're interrupted and they're told that uh, you know, that. The queen has a message to relay to all of the empire. She's getting married to. Dun 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 dun. dun. He's yeah. back. He's sure. alive. He's alive. We For those who are wondering, dead. we were told that he was dead in the very first episode. That's why I had a wake. Um, it even ends with his funeral in the very. In the, and so, of course, this makes sense. This proves that X Men members never really stay dead. Despite that, though, I've got a feeling that Gambit and Magneto Needle will stay dead because I think they're going to get the Wally treatment from Greg, like Greg Wiseman did. I was reading an interview about how um, when it comes to uh, Destin here, they got a feeling like he, he said that the one director, the one who directed the Gambit episode, said that he kind of feels kind of cheapened to bring him back by time travel. Cheapen away, bitch, because I don't want to, otherwise, you're going to piss off so many fans. Well, but at least you don't have to deal with Rogue being with the Magneto anymore. No, no. Now she can go gay. <laughs> but anyway, they here she sees that. She's digging her hair heel into his side of his face, so it's causing it to bleed. That was, that was kind of gross. I was like, but they're announcing their engagement. Of course. I don't know about you. Uh, gross is a, a word you could use for it. Wow, well, I, I mean, if you want to be under the her her heel, you simp. You but, can step on me, Deathbird. It's okay. I'll Deathbird step. goes before the, she, uh, the throne, and she says, "Nope, I I challenge this, uh, you know, this uh, marriage, this 
this Terran marriage, this Terran would rather have us be our new empire in the Milky Galaxy. What's wrong with Milky Way, bitch? Yeah. So she basically says that in order to, in order to prove that he's loyal to us, he has to erase his memory. Goodbye, Earth memories and the X. Yes, and then we get to basically where Forge and Storm have kind of bonded together a little bit. And well, yeah, so basically, uh, Storm is trying to tend to his wounds, and the what what is it called? The uh, not the abomination, the adversary is still plaguing her, um, trying to get into her mind. <laughs> it's like a, it really is a Disney villain, a giant owl saying, Ooh, You'll never do it, give up, <laughs> give in, you know, you know, and just like I'm like, Wow, this really is a, like a really young kid's like it's like she's a like Ursula. Trying to tell an Ariel, trying to manipulate her. It's, like, it's, it's really unsettling. Uh, it reminds me of uh, the the one from Death Note. And she yeah. can, you know, owls can spin their heads. So when she's talking to her, she's trapped in a cave. Because we're only has to climb through. Bancy, um, we see like a little cave part, I don't know, and in order to get this uh, the special cactus, but it only grows in the dark, and it's the only way that it's the only known cure to this venom that he's been infected with. Yeah, so they uh, ride out there after the adversary is pushed back some. Into a Um, book. He trapped in his book to use magic. He's weak. And he goes away because he says, if I don't go with you, I'm going to die, and I want to die alone. And we all know that Storm has a fear of... She's basically... She's claustrophobic. And she just climbs this mine shaft to get into this little cave. She's pursued by the owl. But then, as the walls start caving in her, she realizes that, fuck this. I'm Storm. And she gets her powers back. She yeah. flies. Well, she makes it uh, goes into well, we're into the movie Spirit, and uh, basically right, flies with the horses. Now she's got a new costume. Remember, she had the white. Now it's black. Very nice. She's Very leveled nice. up. <laughs> That's what someone's saying. How dare you remind me of the <laughs> yeah, black? Yes, yes. As she's basically uh, torturing uh, you know the animals. <laughs> I'm not torturing, just scaring well, she's, them. she's chasing, scaring them away. They're running away, and she's flying towards them. She decides that's not enough. She's got to create more havoc. She creates twisters out of the water. Well, and you know, she's uh, had her ability suppressed, but she realizes that she's been doing some of the suppressing. What does a yeah. what does a person who can control weather do when they when when they finally get their powers back? They destroy everything. <laughs> that's right. It's the natural order of things, but. <laughs> She yeah. goes ahead, she gets the cactus, she heals up uh, Forge's wounds right. from yeah. the adversary, and it seems like it might be all hunky-dory until they turn on the television. And then she realizes that she sees the attack, but on, you know, she, she starts crying, there's no mention of Gambit or me else, so she doesn't know yet. Meanwhile, Meanwhile on the other the galaxy, the Shi'ar start fighting each other, having a little quarrel, and, and basically Charles Xavier realizes the fuck am I doing? I'm I'm the world's uh, basically uh, power most powerful mega uh, mutant with telepathic abilities. He says, "Bitch, welcome to class. You're now in the astro plane. Yeah. This is my." But school. he does. He does. Let's go ahead and say he does agree to because his his girlfriend basically says, "Charles, are you not are you not willing to like do this for me? Can't you have a new life? You've earned a new life." And he realizes. You've healed me. You've done all of this for me. You've sh- proven your devotion time and time again. It's time for me to prove mine. And he's going to go through with it. Yeah, they yes. go, ahead, go ahead and say, do you renounce Earth? Yes. Do you renounce your time there? Yes. Do you renounce your X-Men? He yes. hesitates. And that's when Deathbird comes in and Charles sees this. They're starting to fight. Gladiator blows, uh, <laughs> blows some warriors away that Deathbird has brought to Go ahead and basically punches her. It's not turning the wall, like and she should have been dead, but somehow she's alive. Yeah, uh, she's but so basically, but, they're, he's teaching class, teaching them how the Shi'ar Empire. You guys think you're so cool and everything? You're a bunch of bullies. You wiped out the competition because mm-hmm. you're afraid. You're afraid of everyone else, you know. So you strike first because you're afraid that there that there might. He says, if you had, basically, if there had been, if you hadn't taken down all these other planets, conquered them, forced them to join you. There might be four other empires just as strong as you are. He said, you know, is you're afraid of change. You're afraid of of uh, be opening up. And, and why is who said there's the rules? Why can't we have peace? Why? Because I'm a mutant. 
doesn't mean that, that I, I should not be able to bond with humans. It's just like humans should not tear and should not be able to bond with other other species. Why there must be violence? He almost is through convincing them. He almost has them. Until, then, because he opened up, this is the first time he's opened up his mind, he's his powers in all this time. So he starts getting psychic feedback from Earth. Dun, dun. And we're reminded it's Gambit and all this. She's like, all oh, my students, everyone's dead. So much pain. Some of this. And fuck you, Marvel. He, <laughs> calm down, frog. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that it hurts so good. Come on, I, baby. It hurts so good. I'm going to yeet you in the next universe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And of course, uh, that's pretty much for that, you know. He's basically Charles. he realizes he needs to go back, and she's like, "But Charles, if you do this, you're bad. You're, you know, you prove that you're not loyal to me." He's like, "I'm I'm loyal to my people. I can't just abandon them." He's yep. like, you know. He, he, he says, "If it ends our star-crossed love affair, then so be it. I will not abandon my kind, and he is coming back." But there's yes. one last bit. Yes, we see Bo uh, Bulver Trask uh, going through some kind of carnival town or something like a rundown thing, being chased by something, and we hear a voice. And just as I predicted last episode, the Genosha attack was sinister all along. Oh, oh, oh. It was sinister all along. <laughs> yeah, yes. Sinister is the reason why Gambit is dead. Man, uh, I, 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 it's just been a crazy episode. It's yeah. so good, though. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's good. It's good. It's so good. <laughs> I loved it. He's, I, I loved it so much. Yes, I'm yes. loving this show so much, man. Is so it? the other big thing we got to talk about is the intro. Because Gambit and McGinnis are gone. They put in Nightcrawler in Gambit's spot. But they didn't have him in the episode. So those are kind of weird. But you so know what? Maybe that means he'll be around longer. I think that's Kurt's gonna be replacing Gambit on the team on the X Men because Genosha is pretty much wiped out. Genosha is gone. So that being said, Genosha. <laughs> with Storm coming back, and you yeah. know, and, and, and Storm's got her new costume and all stuff now. Does her power now? Her power, she's got the black costume now because now does that mean that her powers have now been unlocked? More, I mean, like more powerful. Is she back to being stronger? Or I mean, obviously, when someone has a, uh, let's say, Ganeth the Gray became Ganeth the White. Like, is she like uber strong now? I don't know. I wonder because you she overcame. What? She overcame her fear. She's and, I, I, and the other thing is now, it's now Forge is now going to be joining the X Men. It also made her uh, regrow her hair. I just realized because it wasn't a mohawk. Yes, oh. yes, yes. It wasn't a mohawk, but now it's like this now, back the way it was. Because when she her, when she uses her powers, she's like kind of like Adam Eve. She designs her costume over her body. It's kind of weird, but you know what? I like it. It was fun. It was fine. I liked it. Um, but yeah, no, another solid episode. I'm so excited to see what the next one brings. <laughs> we only have four more, more, four more uh, frog, and then it's over. Uh, there is should be ten episodes. So four more. This was six. Yes, yes, but don't worry. IMDb already has season two, episode one already listed on the on the IMDb. Season two is already being filmed right now. So if you're you're worried about not having content, yes, yes, there is plenty of stuff to watch. Now my only my only my only complaint gripe is that because the show uh the well not the showrunner the showrunner got replaced. But the the director who uh, who wrote this because there only be two directors the guy and a girl the guy director who guy who directed this episode uh, not this episode the, the past episode with the he did the mutant liberation yes and then did and he did the the gambit the Genosha one yes so he had said in an interview that basically that there's gonna be some deaths you know and he's, he's and then he managed to be implied heavily implied that. The they're they basically just they're not coming back they're not bringing them back because they're gonna have more people now they're shuffling the deck and I really hope that guy is full of shit. It's okay, Froggy. It's not okay because I this is why I quit Young Justice. You get rid of a fan favorite character 
I mean, you could have got rid of Morph and no one would have gave a shit, but you got rid of the one that people want and you want, and, you, and you're kind of here, why are they still watching? Why aren't they well, watching? Because when you fuck over the fans, the fans have no reason to support you. They they aren't screwing you over because it's still a good show. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's Monami. still a good show. I don't know, Monami. Yeah, sounds like uh, we got the shift, and Gambit don't like that. You know, the foggy. <laughs> but that's it. We want to hear what you think. So leave a comment down below. We also ask you to like and subscribe. We've been enjoying this show so much, and we hope you are too. If you're not getting a watch, you're crazy. Go watch it now. It's worth your time. Uh, but that's all from Froggy and me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, Bye. only you can start forest fires. Acha no, only Rogue. <laughs> only Rogue. Only Storm can start forest yeah, fires. <laughs> only Rogue can start natural disasters.